Hi, my name is Methat El Masri, and today we're going to look at the Android bound service. What is a bound service? Well, a bound service in Android is a type of service which can bind with one or more application components like activities and return the results back to them. You can bind the service when you need it and unbind it when you don't. So let's get started. Let's start a new Android Studio project. I will start with an empty activity and the name of my application I shall call Odometer. The language I will use is Java and the minimum API level is 26. So let me click on finish. So I will add to this project a service. I will choose simply service which is a bound service whereas service intent service is a started service. So today we're going to be looking at the service which is the bound service. And this one I shall call it the odometer service. Click on finish. Every bound service must have a binder object and this is done as follows. We will declare an instance variable of odometer binder class and we'll call it the binder object and over here we're going to insert an inner class which I shall call odometer binder and it extends the binder class. Let me resolve these classes. This class extends binder and it returns an odometer service object. It's got a method called get odometer which returns an odometer service object. Every service class overrides the onBind method and all this onBind method does is it returns the binder object. So I'll take this one here, copy it and get this to be returned. So let us add a method that does something here and I'm going to add a simple mock get distance method that behaves as if it's returning the distance between your current location and the location that you started from. In my case, I'm going to just return a random number, but you would put business logic here to do something that's more serious. But this is just a simple application and I want to explain to you the concepts. So you have just one method here, it's called get distance and it returns a random number. Now let's go back and have a look at the main activity UI. I'm going to replace this UI with UI of my own so I shall delete everything that's here and paste this. And let's have a look. This is a linear layout. Orientation is vertical. It's got a text view that is going to display the distance and I have here two buttons. A start button and a stop button. I have not added these items in the strings.xml so let me do that right now. So I'll go to the strings.xml file and add these two strings. One is for start, one is for stop. Notice there are two event handlers here. One is on click start and the other one is on click stop. We will create those methods later on. Now, a service connection class is an interface that enables your activity to bind to a service. It's got two methods, on service connected and on service disconnected. We need to add these two methods as part of the service connection class in our main activity. So let's do that. And this is what allows the activity to bind to the service. So back in our main activity, we're going to add this code here and let me resolve these classes and here we're declaring an instance of the odometer service which we are going to call odometer and we're declaring a boolean named bound and we're setting its initial value to be false and this is the service connection class we're defining the on service connected method and the on service disconnected method. The on service connected method, one of the arguments is the iBinder object. 
we are taking the iBinder object and casting it to be an odometer service odometer binder object. And from the odometer binder object, we're going to call the get odometer method. And the get odometer method is over here. It's in that inner class. And we set the bound to be true. On the contrary, when we disconnect, we're going to set bound to be false. We will bind our activity in the on start override method. So here in the override on start method, we're going to instantiate a new intent and then we're going to bind a service using that intent and this connection object here. And the context will be bind auto create, which means that if Android does not find the service, it will automatically create it. So let us resolve these classes. Now the opposite of starting is to stop and that is where we will unbind the service. So let us override the on stop method of our activity. On stop would call the superclass on stop and if bound is true it will unbind the service by passing it the connection and set bound to be false. Let's not forget that there are two event handlers in our UI that we haven't defined yet, the on click start and the on click stop. So let us define those methods. And those methods, they will behave very simply. When we start, we will want to call this on start method. And when we stop, we want to call this on stop method. So if you look at the event handlers for on click stop, you just call the on stop method and on click start, you call the on start method. Next, I will add a helper method to my main activity that displays the distance which presumably comes from the service. And as we saw earlier on, we have a bogus method in the service that returns random number that is supposed to represent distances. So here I've got a display distance method. It gets a handle to the text view in my UI and it instantiates a handler. And this handler waits for a period of time of about 1000 milliseconds. And every 1000 milliseconds, it calls the get distance method in my service. And over here, I'm displaying that distance. So back again, let's have a look at the odometer service. It's got this bogus get distance method that returns a random number. Let me resolve these classes. This method has to be called from somewhere. So let me call it from the onCreate method here in main activity. Come into the onCreate method and call this method. So now we're pretty much ready to go. Let's see what happens. I'll start my app and here it is. You can see that this mileage is coming from my service and it's being called every 1000 milliseconds. If I stop, I'll set it to zero. And if I start, I'm essentially resuming the service and it keeps on calling that service every 1000 milliseconds. So this is a good example of how you would go about creating a bound service that gets called from an activity and it returns information back into that activity and the activity can take that information and display it. I hope you benefited from this video and I hope to see you again in future videos. Bye.